Conference play in full swing with Big East women's basketball. Thanks for joining us again in the Big East Digital Network studios. And we've got a major upgrade with us today. Former Georgetown <laughs> star Faith Woodard in studio to help us break it down. I'm Jay Alter, as always. And Faith, you know you played in this league just a year ago. It is tough game in and game out. And uh, now you're here graduated to share some wisdom with us. I know, I'm glad to be here. It's a change of pace from actually playing basketball to talking about it now, but it feels good and I'm excited. Well, Faith was a natural on the court, but in her playing days, we got a glimpse of how good she would be as an analyst <laughs> and a broadcaster. There we are a little more than a year ago at Media Day, Faith. I mean, time flies when you're having it fun. It does, throwback, never would have thought like that we would be here and I mean, it's crazy. Well, we are happy to have Faith with us here on the Big East Digital Network, and you'll see her on a lot of games throughout the season. And you're going to see up close and personal what you saw last year, some great plays. And let's start this edition of Top 5 Plays from the week that was with some threes raining in in Omaha on the road. A big win for Marquette. That team just knows how to score. Number four, two plays from Big East Player of the Week, Tori Schickel. Tori Schickel is just an awesome rebounder. I mean, you always have to locate her on box out. And this time, Schickel with the pass and one finish for number three. She's just an awesome player. Butler's a hard competitor. On a three-game winning streak right now, we'll have more from Schickel later today. How about the back door? Wide open for Chantel Stonewall. That's DePaul ball at its finest. And number one, game on the line at Carneseca Arena. Offensive rebound keeps it alive for the Johnnies. And then the Red Storm turned to the freshman, Tiana England. The scoop to the hoop. That sends this game to overtime. St. John's would go on to win it. Oh, man, a lot of fun for St. John's and Faith relying on a freshman, Tiana England, who has been excellent this year in her first year with the Red Storm. That takes some a clutch gene for a freshman to step up and make a play like that. That is not something that you usually see from a freshman. So kudos to her because, I mean... I'm not sure I could have been able to do that as a freshman. That takes some big time gut, so. It does. Well, Faith gonna help us break down the major storylines in the conference right now, as we do every week. Our five big points of the week, starting with number one, the Golden Eagles, the lone unbeaten team left in conference play. They've been tested. Wins against DePaul and Creighton. Faith, what makes this team so hard to play? Marquette just has flat out ballers on this team. I mean, usually you have two to three scores on a team averaging in double figures. Marquette has five players averaging in double figures. That's something that you usually don't see. So it puts immense pressure on a defensive team because you can't really play help side defense. All of, all of these players can score. And they are really bringing in what was successful for them last year. This is a team that went to the Big East tournament and won and now you return a lot of those major players, they're going to be tough to stop this season. There's nothing like having experience being there, like just going to postseason play. And they've been there before. They know what to do. They know how to play together as a team. So just coming back and being able to do everything that they did last season is going to be key for them. Point number two, what you need to know this week in Big East women's basketball, all 10 teams in action tonight. It's a grind, Big East conference play, game after game, a Wednesday night. Slate with all 10 teams in action. You see Butler, St. John's, Fox Sports 2, and then four games on the Big East Digital Network. It is tough going through this stretch of so many games. I mean, the wear and tear on an athlete's body is so serious. So rehab, 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 it's key. Ice baths, never was a fan of it. But, I mean, <laughs> it's really going to pay off down the line when it comes to Big East play and Big East tournaments. And if you're an underclassman who maybe hasn't gone through Big East play before, what would your advice be to them to try and stay fresh and really this is a big jump from playing high school basketball it is and i mean it's something that you're not used to so i would say ice baths compression boots and your your trainer is going to be your best friend so i would just say you know take advantage of it and just get in there if you can well not only is the schedule a grind but this year in particular it's a really deep talented league seven teams already with two or more conference wins as we look at our big east women's basketball standings faith what sticks out to you as you look seven on up all capable your hoyas in there included in the seven of teams that it's uh, it is really tough 
I mean, you have Marquette and DePaul, two premier teams who are just constantly dominating. But, I mean, it is the Big East. It's anybody's ball game, night in and night out, and you always have to come to play. I mean, whether you're playing Providence or you're playing Butler, you can't ever under, underestimate anyone in the Big East because the day that you do that is the day that they upset you. And everybody's got a conference win. So, truly, anybody can beat anybody in this league. And it's shown once again that on the national landscape, this this conference continually putting teams in the top tier. Five teams right now in the top 50 of the RPI. Look, that's half the conference in the top 50 in the entire country. And Butler right on the outside at 55. Yeah, I mean, the RPI is something that um, everyone looks at. You know, you can just look at the RPI and know who's probably going to go postseason, NCAA tournament, NIT. So... We have five teams right there with a high RPI, so I would say the Big East is looking pretty good postseason play. Now, we can post the standings and the graphics of the RPI, but Faith, you played in this league. What does it take on a nightly basis to compete from top to bottom against the Big East teams? It takes focus, determination, grit, and just perseverance. I mean, it is grueling to just play so many games throughout the season, but, I mean, you just have to really stick it out, be focused, and just come to play every single night. Well, all 10 teams in action tonight. Four of those games you can catch on the Big East Digital Network. As we move to our fifth and final point of the week, there's been nine weeks, nine different players of the week. Not only are the teams deep in this conference, the players are as well. It's incredible. We've had a different one every week. This week, Butler's Tory Schickel, a star forward for the Bulldogs. What makes Tori such a hard player to guard, and how open is the player of the year race right now, Faith? I mean, Tori was just an incredible player. I played against her last year, and she's one of those players that really shows that you don't have to have all the moves in the world. She will dominate the game with a simple one-two drop step. I mean, she's that good. You always have to locate her on box outs. She's just an incredible player, so I mean... My hat goes off to her. And then as we look at the player of the year race, well, we've had nine players, you would say, qualify themselves by winning player of the week. Who are a couple that you think, as conference plays continues, will rise to the top and really be in that conversation? Well, I definitely think Blockton from Marquette is going to do um, a great job and show why she's one of the premier players in this conference. She's just a player who can get to the basket. She finishes well through contact. She's just an incredible player. And, of course, you know, I have to put my girl, Deanna White, at Georgetown. I mean, she's quick as lightning, smooth as butter. You give her an inch, she will shoot the three. I mean, so she, I always felt bad for the competitors that we played against who had to guard <laughs> her because she's, I mean, she's just a really great player. So well, you had to face it in practice. So I you did. saw it up close and personal. Deanna was no joke. I mean, she was, she's a really good player. Well, we mentioned Tori Schickel earning player of the week this week and her Bulldogs on a three-game winning streak. Earlier today, we caught up with the star forward and her teammate, Whitney Jennings. Joined now by the Butler Bulldogs dynamic duo, Whitney Jennings and Tori Schickel on a three-game winning streak in the Big East Conference. What is the key to the winning right now for your Bulldogs? Um, I think, you know, we're just really playing together right now. We all know our role really well. And so, um, you know, even through practice, we're all just gelling together really well right now, which is a real positive for us. Yeah, and especially the last three games, we've done a really good job as a team of just controlling the tempo of the game and uh, to our advantage and playing to our strengths. And so I think that's really what enabled us to go 3-0 this past week. And the scoring numbers in particular have been really impressive, both of you in the top three in conference play and scoring. What is it about the way you're playing right now that makes you so confident on the offensive end? I think our coaches have so much confidence in us, us, and we know that our team needs us to score, and so our teammates do a really good job of finding us, and we find one another, and so I think um, just knowing that day to day out, um, our team needs that from us, so um, you know we have to be able to provide that. And Tori, we'll go to you. This Big East Conference, it's a gauntlet game in, game out tonight on FS2. You got St. John's Friday against Marquette, a really good Golden Eagles team atop the conference. How do you prepare game in and game out for these tough opponents? You know, it's coming in and focusing on what we have to do every day. And, you know, we know the basis of what our offense and our defense relies around, but then going over there, scouting report, you know, we have a lot of good players that we play against and knowing what they're going to do and just being more prepared um, and feeling like we're prepared for what they do. And then, you know, part of it is just uh, controlling our bodies and, 
you know, resting as much as possible, but also getting some reps in and getting some shots up to stay fresh uh, for those games. So I'll ask the two of you now, are you starting to think NCAA tournament, NIT, postseason aspirations there at Butler after the hot start to conference play? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, we want to play in a postseason. That's our goal. Obviously, you aim for the NCAA. You know, the NIT is a great tournament, too. So, yeah, we have um, aspirations of playing in a postseason tournament. And so we got to keep um, winning some games to be able to achieve that. Well, an opportunity to do that tonight against St. John's on FS2. Trying to continue that three-game winning streak. Whitney Jennings, Tori Schickel, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got quite the atmosphere tonight and quite the matchup. The Big East Women's Basketball Trophy awaits. The team that is more confident tonight will walk away with that Big East Trophy. Hadamin's got a hustle. Let's it fly from half court. Yes! This is our time. That's the Big East way. The Big East Women's Basketball Tournament at Wind Trust Arena. Get tickets now. Boy, before we know it, it'll be the beginning of March at Wintrust Arena for the Big East Women's Basketball Tournament. I'm sure you remember how tough that week is getting back ready for memories. it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy gearing up to the Big East Tournament. Like, you have to be focused, just practices are grueling, but I mean, it all pays off when you're winning in the Big East Tournament. Now, we're right in the middle of the regular season here for Big East Women's Basketball, and we just watched the Tori Schickel interview, Butler on a three-game winning streak. I looked last year in your senior year with Georgetown. You guys put together a five-game winning streak in conference play. Mm -hmm. That's tough to do in this league. Take us inside the mentality in the locker room when things are going well and you put together five wins in a row. When things are going well, I mean, those are the memories that you just remember forever. They're long-lasting, and when things are going good, you just feel each other's energy. It, it carries over onto the court and it's just you can't compare anything to it so I mean if I had any advice it would be feed off of each other's energy just try to keep that momentum going and just carry it on as long as you can. Well that's what Butler is going to try and do tonight on Fox Sports 2 against St. John's at 7 o'clock. Let's look at the full slate all 10 teams in action on this Wednesday and Faith is there a game that stands out to you as you look at all 10 teams in action? Well, of course, it's Creighton versus DePaul. I mean, those are two top teams um, in the league right now, and uh, Georgetown and Villanova, but also Providence and, Mar and Marquette. That's an opportunity for Providence to, you know, upset one of the premier and top teams in this league. And the Friars did it a year ago. They beat Marquette, who went on to win the Big East tournament, and it showed that kind of, that's the game that sums up in this league that anybody can beat anybody on any given night. Right. It's not about the Big East standings, the top team to the bottom team. If you don't come to play, it's anybody's ball game. Well, as we start to wrap up this look inside Big East women's basketball, we've got to thank Faith Woodard, the former Georgetown star on her debut here on the Big East Digital Network. Bring in a lot, yeah. breaking down the tape. Really enjoyed having you in thank this Thank you week. for having me. And hopefully we see a lot more of Faith throughout this season as Big East women's basketball continues to roll on top to bottom, this league is tough. And we'll be with you every Wednesday here on the Big East Digital Network to tell you what you need to know. For Faith, I'm Jay. Thanks for watching.